The earthquake in Haiti not only has medical teams and supplies heading to that country, now civil engineers from UT will be traveling there as well. KITV's Ryan Lloyd is live on campus tonight. So what will these engineers be doing, Ryan? Well, Judy, a civil engineering professor and some students will be collecting soil samples in Haiti. They want to see how earthquakes impact soil to improve construction of buildings and ports. That's a fire. This is video from a country shaken emotionally and physically by a powerful and devastating earthquake. Every earthquake we like to think of as a living laboratory. Just looking at this ground here. Ellen Rathje will lead the civil engineering team in Haiti. She's been on three earthquake missions before to collect important information, and she knows it will help the United States and the rest of the world improve buildings and ports. We have a seismic risk and we need to mitigate that seismic risk. So again, these lessons can be learned. You'll notice this white area here. Breath G says the ports are especially vulnerable. When they're wiped out, like in Haiti's case, it's hard to get relief efforts to the people. Oscar Sunkar is a civil engineering graduate student traveling with the team. He's from the Dominican Republic, Haiti's next door neighbor. They could have been us in the Dominican Republic that could have suffered for, for this earthquake. It kind of impacts you when you see all these uh, devastation that has, has happened uh, over there. Well, yeah, I'm kind of anxious to go and try to try to see and what happened and try to help. Rathji and the others will fly commercially and will not compromise medical and relief efforts taking place right now. And today I asked Rathji if she makes predictions on future earthquakes. She said she does not because constructing better buildings and ports is their priority to reduce the damage and increase survivability during earthquakes. Reporting live on the UT campus, Ryan Lloyd, KITV News. This team is funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation. One of the grad students, Sankar, will leave tomorrow to set up logistics. The rest of the team leaves on Saturday.